Okay, let's start with our warm up. For Christina, you need weight, Ben, and Matt. And if you have a little bench, do it. If you know, we'll modify. Let's start warming up. So grab, go ahead and grab the bench or chair, whatever you have for the warm up. You're gonna go in a plank. You're gonna bring right leg forward, sink your hips down, switch. Two more times. Sink the hip, bring your shoulders away from your ears. Okay, bring your right one, hold it right here. Rotate to your right. Rotate to your left. Bring it back, switch. Rotate to your left. Rotate to your right. Bring one more time each side. Make sure you're sinking the hip. Your knees are pointing forward. The front knees now going to the side. It stays forward. Okay, go back in a plank. From here, you're gonna go slightly cobra. If you have back issues, very, very mild. Engage your glutes. Inhale, exhale, lean back. Push your heels on the floor. Bring your chest towards the floor. Bring your arms reaching forward. Do it again. Plank, little cobra, lean back, push your heels. Two more times. Inhale, shoulders away from your ear, go in a plank, go in a cobra. One more time. Plank, cobra, and get your glutes. Lean back, push your heels. Okay, stand up. You're gonna do this. The right leg is gonna go on top. Left reaches, bring it back down. Do it again. Right, left reaches. Do it like five times. Two more times. One more time. Okay, switch. Yep. Try to keep the leg extended when you bring it up and back down. It's in the quads and your hips. Opposite arm reaches it. One more time. Okay. Now cross your right one on top of your left. Grab the bench and sit back. Bring it up and do it again. Same leg. One more time. Good. Switch to your left leg. Cross it. This one you also can do it sitting on the bench. You cross, bend forward, Shuri and Sharon, and do this one. Oh, that felt good. Christina, you can do this one too to take pressure off the knees. One more time. Good, stand up tall. Use the wall if you need to, bend the right knee, bring it back, five times. One more time. Switch. Left one. Grab the foot, pull back. Grab the foot, pull back. Two more times. One more time. Okay, good. We are gonna start with our workout. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Mainly legs are core today. I'm gonna give you the option for the first movement. You can bring your left leg in front, right comes up. You can stay here crossing, or we are gonna do this with adding a little jump to it. Okay, this is the two options. So keep the stuff handy. Let's get ready to start. Left leg in front, right one goes back. Four, three, two, go. You can just do knees up. Whoa. Or you can add a jump to it. 
Make sure you cross so we work that core too. Come on, do we have the champ? He's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> 15 seconds to go, come on. <laughs> 10. Three, two, rest. Okay, go ahead and grab the band, place it on your ankles. Remember when we work with the pen, your toes should point forward, unless I say so. And always tension on the pressure. You don't wanna close it all the way. You wanna hold it, I keep words apart and wider, okay? Grab the weight two to one. You're gonna do a squat towards your right side every time. Shoulders down, abs in, toes pointing forward, go. Towards your right every time. Make sure when you squat, your body weight's on your heels and you stick your butt back and down. So you don't wanna bend so much from your hip. You wanna do it from your knees. What I don't want you is you bend over like this, okay? Your chest is stay forward. Pretend almost like if you're gonna sit in a chair. Ten seconds. Two, rest. Okay, place the weight down. A step with your left foot on top of the band. Your left foot steps on top of the band. You can use a wall if you need to for balance. You're gonna kick with your right one. Lift your right knee off the floor, go. Legs extensions. Abs engage, chest tall. Try to don't lean forward or back. Inhale, exhale. Five, four, three, two, rest. Stay where you are, but bring your left one to the front. And we are gonna do curls back. Your left, right, left one is stepping on it, right one is back. Body weight goes on your left leg. Bend the left knee. Hamstring curls, curl. Keep tension in the bend. Curl. Bring it back, but your body weighs on the front with your left knee forward. You see how my hip is slightly bending forward? That's very important for your hands. Look at me, Drew. Bend that knee, right there. Your hands is attached on your lower back, so creating a slightly a 35 degrees bending forward will increase the length of the muscle you are working. Three. Two, rest. Okay, now you're gonna do monster walks only to your right, okay? So I will stay like this, walk. So always right one is leading, go. Tiny steps. Remember the first two things I said? Toes pointing forward with slightly pushing toes, pressing from your heels, knees are soft, you're not bouncing and rocking. Pressing, pressing. Almost think of a pressing from your right heel out. And keep the tension on the band. You're not closing it all the way. Very important, keep those toes pointing forward. Keep the tension. Just tiny steps. Three, two, rest. 
Okay, let's get on the floor. Let's get on the floor. Keep the weight close to you. Keep the weight right next to you. We are gonna go leg raises. Try it on your back. Go down and up. The option is to do one leg at a time. If you choose to do one leg at a time, one leg is always up. Keep it all the way up, your legs, all the way up. Extend them. This is the option. Belly button in, back flat. Or you can do it together, both of them. Relax your shoulders. Your neck and head is resting on the floor. Really, your upper body is not doing much work. Four, three, rest. Stay right here. Look what you're going to do. You're going to bring your arms over your head. You're going to wrap it around and you're going to try to reach towards your ankles. Okay? Keeping your, it's no sit up, so your lower back stays on the floor. Go. Reach. So try to take your shoulders off the floor as much as possible. Exhale, inhale. You're gonna add some pulses at the end. If this is harder than enough, you can stay here. Pulses, right here. Up, up, up. Cheese off your chest. Take your shoulders off the floor. Belly button is in. Present, present. Five, four, three, two, rest. Woo. Okay. Let's go in a side plank. Right, right side down, right shoulder on top of your right elbow. Two options, you can bend the bottom leg or you can stack one on top of the other. Go. So your option is to do a half a plank with your bottom leg bended or you can do a full push a side plank. Make sure your chest is open, your hips are forward and your glutes are engaging. Driving the hip bones forward. Breathe. Bailando. Five, four, three, two, rest. Okay, okay, here, we are not gonna go the other side yet. You're gonna grab the weight. And we are gonna do hip raises. You have the option to do one leg or two. If you choose one leg, your left leg is up. Ready, go. Okay, make sure, this is very important. Most people do this wrong. I don't want you to shift to your, your toes. You're pressing from your heels. So like, we better for you to take completely your toes off the floor. So you're forced to use the back of your legs and glutes. Even if you are doing with two, same thing, toes off the floor, press them from the back of your leg, engage those glutes. Pulses, up, 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 Ooh. 10, five, four, three, Two, rest. Woo, okay, take the way off, but it's there right here. We are gonna do the leg raises again, like we did at the beginning. Bring your legs up, bend your knees 90 degrees this time. Arms resting on the floor, back flat, belly button in, tap it and bring it in. Keeping those legs 90 degrees. If this is still too hard, you can do one at a time. Now your back should be flat on the floor. So you barely tap the floor to bring it up. So you're not really releasing your body weight. Exhale, inhale. Shoulders are relaxed. Your neck is relaxed. Focus on your core. Seven, six. 
rest. Now we are gonna do the same one we did at the beginning. Over here, reaches, reach to the side. One more time. Five, four, three, two, go. Reach to outside of your ankles. Exhale, inhale. Chin is off your chest. You're trying to take your shoulders completely off the floor, if you can. It's not a full sit-up, it's almost like a half a sit-up. So your lower back stays on the floor. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, rest. Okay, let's go on the side plank on your left side now. On the left side. Shoulder on top of your elbow. You can bend the bottom leg or you can stack one on top of the other. Three, two, go. Side plank, open the chest. Engage those glutes, drive your hip bones forward. Your legs are extended. Breathe. We got a water break after this, you got it. Well, we had the hip raises and the water break. 25 seconds to go. If you feel very tired and you're in full, you can go on your knees, but try to hold it. 15 seconds. 10, seven, six, five, four, rest. Okay, get it back on your back, grab the weight. If you do two legs, do it again. If you do one leg, your right leg should be up this time. Remember, toes off the floor, get on your heels. Ready, go, up and down. Driving all the way up, engaging your glutes, using your hamstrings, shoulders are relaxed. Fifteen seconds, pause it, go. Up, up, engage those glutes. Ooh, almost there. Five, four, three, two, rest. What a break. Good job, guys. Drink some water. Okay, for the next round. Oh, we need to do all the left side. I just forget about that. Almost. We need to do all the left side. I'm like, oh, it's too early. Okay, so remember the first one. Your right leg is going to be on the front this time. Your left knee is going to drive. Option one, cross, engaging your core. Option two, same thing, but you're going to add a little champion to it. Okay, let's get ready. Whoops. Right, right leg in front, left one is on the back, go. Cross, so your right elbow goes to your left knee and you add a little hop if you want to. Make sure your body weight stays on the front leg. That's the leg is working now. Exhale, inhale. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, rest. Okay. Grab the bend, place it on your ankles. We do it with the bend and the weight. Place the bend. Remember two main things. 
Toes pointing forward, tension on the bend the whole time. Grab your weight if you want to add a little extra. Now we are gonna squat towards your left side every time. So the traveling leg is your left one. Chest is tall, shoulders are down, toes pointing forward, tension on the bend. Let's go. Squat to your left, bring it back in. Squat to your left. So don't close it all the way. So you maintain the tension on the bend. Inhale, exhale. Fifteen seconds. Stick your body way on your heel. Stick your bar behind you, chest is tall. Three, two, rest. Place the weight on the floor. Now you're gonna step on top of the bend with your right foot. And your right leg is gonna go back. Grab a wall if you need to. Lift the left knee off the floor. Go. Breathe, chest tall, look up. Try to not move your top portion at all. Just the bottom one. Keep a chest tall. Keep kicking forward. 10 seconds. All the way, make sure you extend it. Rest. Bring your right leg forward. Bring your left leg back. Bend the right knee and lean on it with your chest. All the way away on your right leg, you're gonna hamstring curves with your leg. Go. Curl. Create a lot of tension. Bring it slightly out that way, through it. That way. Keep that tension. Try to keep that left knee far the back of your right one. So reach back and lean on your right leg. Rest. Okay. Monster walks. Only driving with your left. Okay? So when you get out of space, turn. Left is the driving one. Toes pointing forward. Go. No rocking. Slightly pushing toes, chest forward. Knees soft. Keep the tension on the bend the whole time. So baby steps. Keep doing it. Try to don't rock side to side. Use your glutes to press the leg out, out. Five seconds. And rest. Keep the bend. Keep the bend and get on the floor. We are gonna step here and we are gonna do three pulses, one crunch. Ready? Go. One, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> crunch. Make sure the belly button is in and your back is flat. Toes straight forward, press from your heels. Two. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, 
pack his belly button is in back is completely flat and rest okay turn on your tummy two options guys here you're gonna lift your legs and open if you cannot do that keep your feet on the floor and open alternate it okay knees off the floor relax just go if your legs are open knees first open later left open close left open close so this is too hard keep your feet on the floor just go side to side like this which is actually pretty effective as well knees off your chest Fifteen seconds. Eight, seven. Rest. Okay. Now turn on your back and place the bend on your knees, right on top of your knees. We are gonna curl. Bring your butt off the floor, open your legs and close. Ready, go. Make sure your toes are off the floor. You're doing it from your hamstrings and glutes. Lift, open, close. But remember, when you close, you still have tension on the bend. You can add a weight if you want to this one on your hip to make it harder. Okay, get ready, hold it up, pulse it, out, 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 out. Ooh, keep the glutes engaged, keep your hips up, shoulders relaxed, use your glutes, the side of your hip to press out. Three, two, rest. Okay, keep, keep it where they are. Go on your right side, go on your right side. You're gonna do like half a plank and the option of abduction, okay? Go half a plank, you can go up and barely, like you really not resting your leg on the floor, hips are forward. If this is too hard, just stay inside plank. Watch the toe, straight pointing forward. Don't bring the toe up to the ceiling. Keep that hip forward. Keep that right elbow underneath your right shoulder. 15 seconds, guys, come on. Up and down, up and down. 10. Four. Three. Two. Rest. Okay. Let's bring it back on our ankles. You're gonna repeat all the sequencing from the top. The only difference is gonna be this time with one leg three pulses with crunches, okay? Ready? Go, one leg, one, two, three, one leg. One, two, three. Make sure when you're crunching, you're not pulling from your neck, you're using your abs, your elbows are open, your chin is off your chest. Three, two, one, three, two, one, that almost up for the water break, let's do it. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Okay, place it on top of the foot now. So take your heels off the bend. And we are gonna do bicycle crunches. Or you can bring your back and just to side to side if you're too fatigued, okay? Go, opposite shoulder to your knee and you're pressing with your leg. Exhale, inhale. Come on, keep going. Make sure you're pressing the body away from you. And up, in and out, in and out. Rest, 
chest. Okay, keep it in your ankles, turn on your stomach. Watch what we are gonna do here. You're gonna bring it up, up. You have the options to keep it, your chest down or bring your chest up. Go, kick, kick. Toby, Tim, Sharon. Everyone, we love her back, they're sensitive. Keep your chest down and just kick up, okay? For the rest, you can also do it in back extension, kick up. You should feel your body weight on your hip bones. Excel inhale, excel inhale, up, up. Keep looking at the floor. You should really feel on your glutes. Not so much on your lower back. Rest. Oh, okay. Let's place the band or on knees. And we are gonna do the side plank on the other side and we get a little break. So get on your left side, left knee bended, right one on the top. Go on the side plank. Hip forward, chest forward. Now, if you want to, add an abduction to it. Remember that right toe should be pointing forward. Your top leg, the top toe. Bring your glutes, engage your glutes so your hips are forward. There we go. Your belly touching and you come up. Or you can stay side plank. Breathe. Make sure you're not bringing your leg forward or back. Your leg is Straight line with your hips and chest. Five, four, three, two, rest. Whew. Good job, guys. For those who only want to do 30 minutes, you are done. You can do a quick stretch. But really, we have like less than 10 minutes and we are done. Go get some water. No more pain for the rest of the workout. That was all we did. Feeling my booty for sure. Whew. Okay. We are gonna start with step ups. You have three options. You don't have any step or your knees are sore. You can go back to that knee quick. Right leg in front. You can do the step ups or you can do the step up with your weight. Okay? Those are all your options. You're almost done. Let's do it, guys. Right leg is going to be on the top of the bench or right leg is going to be in front for your knees up. Three, two, go. Up and down. When you go up, it's very important to try to not lean forward. You go straight up. You're using your quads, your glutes, trying to not use your back. Breathe. Inhale, exhale. Eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, rest. Okay, grab your weight with your right side. We are gonna do a two set, two movement exercise. You squat, you reach to your right and you come all the way up. Okay, ready, go. Squat, side reach and come up. Now make sure when you do this side reach, your body weight is still on your heels, so your knees are not going forward. Body weight's on your heels. You keep shoulder over shoulder. How low? It depends on you. Don't hurt your back. Keep shoulder over shoulder, square. Three, two, rest. Okay, here are two options. 
For those of you who cannot lunge, you're gonna do a sumo squat. Knees and toes out, right here, okay? For those who, who we can lunge, your right leg is gonna go forward and it's gonna go back, okay? You're traveling back and forth. So sumo squat with knees, toes out, or lunges forward and back with your right leg traveling. Chest toe, up scene, three, two, go. Right forward, right back. Keep your chest toe. Make sure your knees are not going forward. Nine is degrees, bend it forward and back. If you're doing sumo squat, your chest is stay tall, and you're using your glutes to pull you straight up. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Three, two, rest. Okay, we are gonna step up with your left. If no, left in front, knees up, okay? Step me now with your left. He's fine now. He just had something in his mouth. Ready? Go. Step up with your left. Inhale. Exhale. Your left leg should be, if you're doing knees up, your left leg stays in front. And that's where your body weight stays. Breathe. We are almost done, guys. Almost done today. A lot of leg work, a lot of glutes. 10. Three, two, rest. Okay, you are gonna do that two movement. Squat with a side reach on your left side. Body weights on your heels. Chest is tall, keep shoulder over shoulder when you side reach, okay? Abs engage, go. Squat, reach to your left and come up. Squat, reach to your left, come up. Body weights on your heels. Make sure you stick your butt behind you. If your back is sore or tender, don't reach too far, do baby ones. 20 seconds. Thirteen. Five. Four. Rest. Okay. Same options. Sumo squats. Or oh, the left leg is gonna go forward and it's gonna go back. The last one. Woo, three, two, go. Lunge forward, lunge back. Make sure your legs are 90 degree bend. Body weights on your heels, doing a squat or do a lunges, so shift on your toes. Five, four, three, two, rest. Okay, we're going on the floor. Whew, drink a quick water, quick water. Are we going on the floor? We're almost done. Whew. We are gonna start with a normal plank, hands direct underneath your shoulders. Normal plank. Let's do it. Hands direct under your shoulders. You can stay in half a plank or you can go full. Go. Breathe. Mm 
25 seconds to go. Breathe. Tuck your glutes in. Tuck your pelvic in and press your belly button. So you have a pelvic retraction. Five seconds. Rest. Okay, your last one, guys. Grab the bench if you have one. Grab your weight if you want to. Hip raises. Last one. This is optional. You can do it on the floor. You can do it with no weight. Okay, go. Grab it all the way. Remember, your toes are off the floor and your glutes are going all the way up. Breathe. This is our last exercise, guys. You got it. Woo! Can feel my glutes and hamstrings. We worked my heart today. Seven, six. Rest. Stay ready on the floor. I'm just gonna pause the timer. Take your legs off the bench if you have them on the bench. And you're gonna keep your left leg down and your right leg is gonna come up. Oh, he's shaking. Bend that right leg, bring your left knee up and bring it towards your chest. Bring your left leg back down on the floor and your right knee goes towards your left side. Your right shoulder starts down on the floor. Pressing from that knee to try to reach the floor, stretching your glutes and lower back. Inhale, exhale, extend the leg. So you can reach your toes perfect, but if you don't reach your ankle, whatever, but your knee should be extended this time. Lock your knee. No bend it. So you feel in your hamstrings and glutes. There we go. Try to keep your right shoulder on the floor. Okay, lean on your left side like you are. Bend the right leg and bring it back on your foot. Yep. Don't twist your knee, just pull back. Okay, roll back on your back. Bring your left leg up. Bend the right, the left knee, cross it. Bring your right knee up. Grab your right knee and press it towards your chest. Breathe. Bring your right leg back and down on the floor. Your left one goes towards your right side. Your left shoulder is on the floor. Yeah. Be gentle. Relax your shoulders, relax your back. Use your right hand to press your left knee towards the floor. Now extend the leg, lock the left knee up. Reaching whatever you can reach, your ankle, your shin, your toe. And try to keep that left shoulder down on the floor. Stay on leaning on the right side, grab your left foot and bring it back. Okay, back on your back, bring both knees towards your chest and pressing and relaxing and pressing, trying to take your, take your butt off the floor. So roll the hip forward. Seven. 
Now, grab both knees, press them towards your chest. Try to keep your knees close to each other. And press them towards your chest. Take your chest off the floor and make like a little ball. Bring your chin in. Relax your upper body. Keep your legs with the arm. Bring your soles of your feet together. Grab them and bring it towards your chest. Like a butterfly. You don't look shot like one. <laughs> Okay, relax, grab your knees. Inhale, exhale, roll up. Let's do a quick one here. This is more uh, friendlier on your hamstring. If you cannot reach your toes, you can always use the band or a belt. Switch. We kill our hamstrings and glutes today. Good job, guys, we did dance so far too. Okay, stay here in comfortable position. Let's inhale. Exhale, lean to one side. Bring your hands on the floor and reach. Keep shoulder over shoulder. You should feel a stretch on your right side. On the side that your arm is up. Inhale, exhale, switch. That feels good, isn't it? Back to the front. Relax the neck, side to side. Give me last deep breath, inhale. Reach, 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 and exhale. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you, Kat. You're welcome. Good job, everyone. Thanks, Kat.